Hello everybody, welcome back to Shri Voyage. Today I'm going to be going over with you guys the collection by Westman Atelier. I picked up several pieces and I'm excited to share them with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump in. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. All right, let's go. So the first product that I got was the Westman Atelier Foundation and I have done a couple of videos where I've already used this metal kind of casing with the embossed in, um, inserted with the Westman Atelier name in here. I love the magnetized closure, it's really cool. And here is the foundation. Go ahead and do a little swatch here on the back of my hand. As you can see, it is very creamy in texture. Thing about this is it is a natural product with a bunch of antioxidants, a lot of really great um, oils in it, and it is wonderful for any skin type. Loved using this, but I definitely need a moisturizer underneath to give it that kind of glossy glow. Next I got was the Face Trace Contour Stick. It also has the magnetized closing cap. Go. Very creamy, great color as far as the tone is a true, mm, I love when it has a little bit of that warm grayish tone to it so that way it really does more um, contouring rather than bronzing. Leave that hollow in the cheek and just kind of sculpt around the face. Sorry about the noise you guys, there's a lot of construction going on around the house right now, outside. All right, next is the blush. Here's the Baby Cheek Blush Stick. It's called Minette. Here is the color. I'm gonna put this right next to the contour stick. This is the Westman Atelier Light Up Highlighting Stick. Kind of reminds me of a balm, but it has the shift of that rainbow color to it. You can see kind of the blue and purple shift to it so it moves in the light really nicely. So it's a hydrating lighter with some glow factor. Next I got this beautiful lip palette. It's called Lip Suede La Rouge. It's in this beautiful metal case. It's weighty. It's definitely substantial in its weight. And you open it, the four colors, and then a cute little heart on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch these from top to bottom. Next thing I got was the Westman Atelier. It comes in this cute little pouch. The mascara, it's kind of a gold, it's plastic, but it's got a nice finish with a, um, the wand has a plastic black cap to it. It's kind of a cool design though. I really actually liked the design. Here is the wand. get into the review on this in a second what my thoughts were on this mascara so stay tuned Poudreau's super loaded tinted highlight
So let's start with her foundation. This is a foundation stick. It is rich in antioxidants. It is a clean brand. It is meant to add moisture to the skin, calm redness, a very natural finish and a glow. My thoughts on it, I like it, but I liked it more when I put the highlighter, um, sorry, the light up stick with it because it gave me a more emollient base. This doesn't feel hydrating enough for me. I am combination dry. So when I put this underneath, it gave it a nice emollient slip to it. So have underneath a really great moisturizer, but if I were going to buy this, I would definitely buy these two together because they just they pair really well together and because this has a blue and purple shift to it it gives a glow to the skin so by the time you put your foundation on top it just it gives a very gorgeous ethereal glow to the actual foundation it makes your skin just look really nice which we'll get into this in a second would i buy it again and i've been wearing it for a while to really try it out i'm not sure if i would actually buy this again i like it i don't love it so like for me means it may work for you but for me i like to love something if i'm going to buy it again all right, next product. The next product is the Light Up Highlighter. Beautiful emollient base to it. And it's really, really beautiful, you guys. It has, it's almost like a gel balm. It's very light in texture. I was getting compliments from people on like what, what's on your skin. It is it's so beautiful. It's light enough to just leave a glisten on the skin without looking heavy and oily. So this for me was such a win. It was probably out of the two products that were my favorite of hers out of this collection. Definitely this was the most beautiful texture for getting that glass-like facial glow to your skin. So definitely love it and we'll be buying it again baby cheeks in the color minette it um, is meant to be used for the lips the cheeks and the eyes so it's a multi-purpose stick for the face it's growing on me i wasn't liking it as much at all um but now i'm starting to really understand how to apply it and ever since i put bowing highlighter stick underneath the foundation this lays down so much better this to me kind of makes the, all the face products work better so just a little tip like not love next we have the contour stick this is the best contour stick i have ever used besides my charlotte tilbury which is in a powder form it is creamy the color actual combination that's in here is beautiful because it's not too bronzing i'm finding that a lot of contour palettes make you look a little bit tan compared to doing what it should which is to sculpt to create a hollow and define features on the face this has the right color combination to give you a little bit of that not gold but that gray that undertone that will actually give you that sculpting feature on the face which is what it's supposed to do so it's a great contour stick like our love i definitely love and would purchase this again in a second it is my favorite cream contour stick on the market hands down so the next part that i got was the westman atelier mascara comes in this beautiful packaging love it very modern very contemporary very cool um here is the wand it doesn't look beautiful you guys and look at all the separate little grooves on there but it's terrible it's a terrible mascara <laughs> it's just so bad um maybe you guys will have better luck with it than i did but i you know, I've been in makeup art as a makeup artist for 24 years, and I'm kind of surprised at just how bad this is. Um, I did this eye three times, tried it different ways, curled lashes, not curled lashes, took my um, spoolie, went through it to kind of thin it out. All it did was clump and clump and gather and just it was just bad the whole experience. And then I tried it with two layers and only to one layer then two layers then I built it up to six and no matter what I did it crumbled and clumped and it just made my eyelashes look terrible I just I hated it anyway this I did two coats of mascara on and it's a bit better but it's just for the price is so not worth it beautiful packaging the brush is nice but whatever the formula is in here is terrible I will say the formula doesn't burn my eyes which is nice I mean some mascaras do their job really well Dior but they burn my eyes a bit um but this is just I can't justify it at all so it's not even a like or love it's just a complete pass for me I would just would not even waste your money so here is the super loaded tinted highlight cream in Poudre Rose 
This is a, I almost like think of it as like a topper for the skin. It's got a cream mixture. I didn't really completely understand it when I was reading about it, but I get it now. Um, it is a very light kind of jelly texture, really soft, more on the natural side, definitely very, very pretty. When it comes to this product, I really, really like it. And simply because it's just, it's minimal while still standing out on the face. So as you can see, I actually put it mostly all over my face, but I have it a lot here. It's one of those, I would say, friendly, realistic highlighters for the face. So if you're somebody who worries that, you know, you have too much makeup on or like it's a high beam kind of look and you just don't want that look, I definitely recommend all of Westman Atelier's products because she's really good about making you look like your best version, the best version of yourself. So keep that in mind. It's definitely more a very soft, natural, glowy skin. Everything just looks very polished and very much like you 2.0 like or love i would definitely say i love it so last but not least we have the lip suede le rouge lip palette and once again the actual packaging on this is beautiful weighty very luxurious it just it's a nice little gorgeous fun little compact um this is probably my favorite product you guys out of everything besides the light up glow stick. Colors are stunning. Every single color in here does something different for the skin tone and I could see why she chose these colors. They would be, they're gonna be gorgeous on any skin tone. Like the range of colors she put in here, doesn't matter what your skin tone is, it's gonna be beautiful on you. So this is a wonderful palette for those of you who are makeup artists or for those of you who are just looking for something for your handbag. It's beautiful on the outside and it's gorgeous on the inside. The texture is light and buttery. It feels like it's like a light gel, cream gel texture with a tiniest bit of powder for staying power. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna move around the outside of the lip, which I absolutely love. And the texture just feels really, really, really nice. It's my favorite product, like or love, obvious, totally love. There is the Westman Atelier collection. I hope you guys are well. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other and I will see you in the next video. Let's go ahead now and get into how I created this look. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. It makes my day hearing from you guys. I'm getting to know all of you by name. So everyone out there, gosh, that, I, that I've been talking to, hi. <laughs> I hope you guys are well. See you soon, bye now. Here we go.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me a comment down below.